RH negative celestial starseed source players are in the beginning stages of what is the grand experiment of adaptive evolution of the greater consciousness system within the omniversal network environment. Our celestial starseed genetics are currently fine tuning the hardware in order to compute and to process the upgraded software that is needed for our continued survival and fitness. We celestial starseeds are born different from baseline humanity with enhanced genomes that attribute us with divine gifts and special powers that include supernatural as well as paranormal abilities. These terms, divine gifts and special abilities, may be used to describe superpower qualities and features that can be used and developed far beyond natural human capabilities. These powers can consist of and incorporate anything ranging from the minimal exaggeration of normal human traits all the way to magic, levitation and flight, rapid healing and regeneration, psychic skills, super strength, projection of creative and destructive energy beams and force fields, invulnerability, telepathy, telekinesis, teleportation, super speed, and weather control, just to name a few. Despite their vast diversity, most divine gifts and special abilities fall into a handful of categories defining their core identity. These categories are conceptual ideas, function, mechanism, source, and lastly, those qualities that are deemed unfathomable. Special powers based on conceptual ideas center on a directly conceived construct or intuited object of thought formed by mentally combining all of its characteristics or particulars, thereby allowing essentially any effect related to it, such as boundary manipulation, subjective reality, and absolute existence. Divine gifts that are based on a particular function are usually specialized on relatively specific fields such as creation, destruction, and most energy manipulation abilities. Mechanistic special powers such as physics manipulation, reality warping, and causality manipulation for example, focus on the wielding and shaping of the imminent laws of reality as well as all other contexts of existence. Superpowers categorized under origin of source typically refer to the use of mysterious enchantments and the use of incantation or various other techniques that assure control over interdimensional entities, agencies, and the forces of nature. These can include cosmic magic, supernatural dominion, and lordship talents and skills that allow a large variety of applications. Unfathomable special powers are those paranormal abilities without actual cause or mechanism, and these gifts are defined as being beyond the realm of comprehension and understanding. Methods of obtaining special powers can be achieved through advanced genetic engineering interaction with outside stimuli or off-world energy, bionic and cybernetic augmentation, or these gifts are attained naturally with a pre-birth genome as it is in the case of RH negative celestial star seeds, as we are beings born with special cellular structures that generate these vast array of divine gifts and abilities. We as source players have many distinctive traits in regards to biology, physiology, and genetics that are different from our earth seed evolutionary predecessors. Star seeds have wildly varying biologies depending on the nature of our genetic mutations. These genetic mutations are caused by the X genes located in the RH negative DNA. Special powers normally manifest themselves during puberty as a result of a traumatic event. Some celestial star seeds exhibit their divine gifts and special abilities at birth, 
while others do not manifest their powers until adulthood. Secondary genetic mutation is a phenomenon in which an existing celestial star seed gains additional special powers, an increase in existing abilities, or even a change in their appearance due to a second mutation. Secondary genetic mutations usually always occur with star seeds in early stages of adulthood, generally appearing during times of great stress. In some cases, it has been shown that secondary genetic mutations can be triggered by more or less natural means, such as from medical experimentation, sentient bacteria, or in some cases they are even somehow created. There are also some viewpoints that would suggest that secondary genetic mutations are also directly connected to the increase in the number of celestial star seeds that are experiencing the Great Awakening at this time. In the outside stimuli method of obtaining special abilities, beings gain their powers through outside sources, such as freak accidents, off-world energy, or by making contact with special objects and ancient artifacts. Bionics and cybernetic augmentation are similar to superpowered special abilities. However, while routine maintenance is required to retain, to preserve, and to calibrate bionics and cybernetics, superpowered special abilities are preserved naturally by the individual's body. This is because while superpowers are organic, bionics and cybernetics are artificially produced by a microchip that require constant maintenance to keep its existence and continuance. If not, the microchip will be prone to glitches, malfunctions, and technological viruses. Many psychic abilities can also be replicated by sufficiently advanced technology. Superpowers and bionic abilities both contain additional hidden powers and subsets. However, while bionic and cybernetic abilities can be unlocked through a machine, superpowers need to be unlocked through meditation and training. Superpowered special abilities also glitch, but these glitches are not primarily triggered by emotion and are more of a temporary malfunction. Abilities obtained through bionics and cybernetic augmentation need to be routinely calibrated to adjust for the individual's growth as well as changes in the individual's metrics. Our deoxyribonucleic acid, otherwise known as DNA, contains instructions for how organisms develop and what form the organism takes. DNA is the mark of life, which can be found in every cell of the physical body. What most Earth inhabitants don't know is that for every double helix with two strands of DNA, there are a minimum of 10 ethereal strands of DNA added, which have not yet become fully activated, and these strands have been in an unconscious and dormant state since the beginning of our incarnations during multiple lifetime campaigns. For Rh negative celestial star seeds, each activated strand leads to developing divine gifts and superpowered special abilities at higher capacities. Due to the fear associated with the prophesied arrival of the divines, controllers of the matrices that overlay the educational artificial reality training habitat have foolishly attempted to delay this inevitable starseed DNA activation process through fluoridated water, the discharging of fine chemical particles into the sky, genetically modified organisms and the nourishing substances that are taken into the body to sustain life, the obstruction of golden sunlight, as well as a sonic onslaught that is carried out through chronic utilization of acoustic weaponry. When our celestial star seed DNA is charged with certain energetic fields by cosmic rays, our divine gifts and superpowered special abilities are activated within this educational artificial reality training habitat realm. Non-moral emotions and zero-point energy are the catalyst for our star tribe. 
Our celestial starseed DNA was manipulated and pre-programmed by higher dimensional groups competing with multiple agendas and was encoded with instructions to unfold over the course of the nanoseconds of this current cycle of rebirth. The channels that allow us RH negatives to receive cosmic waves of energy travel through conduits that are located within the mitochondria. We as star seeds channel this unlimited power directly from source. Orbitally rearranged monatomic elements help to open up these mitochondria for more channels of energy to flow through. DNA is also directly related to sound frequencies. As those that are adept in the science of language, including phonetics, phonology, morphology, syntax, semantics, pragmatics, and historical linguistics were brought in to analyze the DNA code within the starseed genome, they found that DNA is not just a randomly organized grouping of primary amino acids, but rather that it is a light language that follows very regular grammar and syntax. This key finding proves that DNA can be reprogrammed via sound and light frequencies that we combine with an understanding of the language in which it operates. With this, we can develop a new DNA light language in order to heal or to evolve any aspect of our physical being in this realm. This is where we connect back into many of the ancient teachings of this world. RH negatives ourselves are quite literally liquid crystals and are perfect for the absorption and disbursement of divine light. Photons carry consciousness to crystalline molecules that are located in our pineal glands. The reason for our celestial starseed DNA simultaneously exhibiting traits involving sound and light is that our DNA exists holographically. Because DNA is holographic, it can be simultaneously realigned, reconnected, and activated. This means that our 10 inactive DNA strands are simultaneously realigned at the top of our heads, reconnected into our 12 crown chakra crystals, and then are reactivated so that life force energy flows through them again. The two primary strands of DNA responsible for the genetic coding of the form and for basic cognitive abilities have been isolated from the remaining 10 strands. All of the strands of our celestial starseed DNA are linked via energetic connections that act as a transitional or intermediate pathway or phase between two adjacent elements, activities, or conditions. These energetic connections are a raised transverse platform composed of light that run in between all 12 strands, forming an inconceivably intricate lattice of light and facilitating communication between the strands. There are nine levels in the DNA recoding process and each require emotional clearing at the level that activates the thymus to change the coding sequence of our celestial starseed DNA. Recoding in this instance means switching on the DNA codes that were previously switched off. The cellular recoding process currently taking place within our bodies can be likened to remodeling our homes while we are still living within them. The DNA recoding process works at the etheric level. At this level, our 10 inactivated strands of DNA, along with our two connected strands, are realigned above our crown. The educational artificial reality training habitat has entered into a highly charged portion of space. We are currently being fully immersed within the new radiation and an intense light of photon energy. During this extraordinary period of time, the photon energy is triggering a complete reordering of life as we know it. This occurs because photon light energy has the capacity to lift all of our lives into a higher dimensional frequency as it carries the codes for the illumination and the enlightenment of all RH negative celestial star seeds.
The atomic structures within the cells of our bodies are slowly tuning themselves to match these rising frequencies. We are shifting from a third dimensional carbon based body that matches the atomic frequency and spin of carbon to a fifth or higher dimensional crystalline light body that matches the atomic frequency and spin of crystal. RH negatives are hyperdimensional, and as our psychic abilities are awakening, we have developed a second neural network at the etheric level. This second neural network is what allows us celestial star seeds to exist in multiple dimensions at once. We possess the natural abilities to hear, to see, and to communicate with other beings and entities within these multiple dimensions. As the process of rebuilding our light bodies continues, we will slowly begin to notice the effects of becoming fully conscious and hyperdimensional. This state will come about when our 12 strands of DNA have finally been fused, connected, and activated. In this level of consciousness, we can exist in the third dimension while retaining our connection and relationships with beings in the higher realms. We will no longer be cut off from other dimensions as we presently are, and we will operate from a state of heart-centered compassion. This will happen regardless of which dimension we find ourselves inhabiting. Eventually, we will learn how to live successfully in a galactic society and ultimately in a universal society. At the present time, most of us have two active strands of DNA, represented by an intertwined double helix. Some starseeds have developed and integrated three or more strands, while a large number of new star children presently being born, such as the crystal and the Blu-ray children, have many strands of active DNA. RH negative celestial star seeds breathe the electric air of the future as divine beings on location here in the heavens. Activating the new DNA is a service to ourselves for the great awakening of each source player that lives within the educational artificial reality training habitat. Psychokinesis, sometimes referred to as telekinesis, is an umbrella term used in parapsychology to describe the movement of physical systems through psychic power. This is just one of many divine gifts and superpower special abilities that involves using the mind to influence, manipulate, and to move material objects. Once our RH negative DNA is fully activated, star seeds will evolve to the point that our psychokinetic abilities will allow us to control anything that we desire and to transmute matter at even a subatomic particle and universal level, for example, to convert wood into gold, plants into crystal, and cause physical bodies to disintegrate by altering their molecular structure. Projection of psychokinetic energy enables RH negatives to levitate, propel, or manipulate multiple heavy objects all at once, however we desire without having any difficulties. Source players can also lift ourselves and move through the air to simulate flight for very long distances at high speeds, manipulate the electromagnetic spectrum through the absorption of cosmic energy directly into our cells to stimulate individual molecules which can be used to release tremendous amounts of heat that can incinerate specific targets, as well as generate concussive force beams as blasts of plasma and psychic energy that are powerful enough to even affect cosmic beings. Utilizing telekinetic aura, celestial star seeds can surround our physical bodies with psychic energy to create shielding that can deflect even the most powerful of attacks for the protection of ourselves and others, thereby making us nearly invulnerable. The versatility of manifesting telekinetic weaponry grants RH negatives the enhanced ability and skill to create multiple types of psionic weapons and constructs out of psychic energy for use in combat that differ in size, length, and power that can cause significant damage to a target either physically, mentally, or both in some point. 
Telekinetic sensitivity allows RH negative celestial star seeds to feel the texture of objects that we have a telekinetic hold on, since when other objects come into contact with them, and probe them at a molecular level to identify if they are composed of or contain extraterrestrial materials. Psychokinesis is one of the foundations of many of our divine gifts and superpowered special abilities that are based on controlling and manipulating various energies that fundamentally only requires a thought to work. As superpowered special abilities go, psychokinesis is one of the most useful and straightforward, and in its most refined form, it allows RH negatives to manipulate any object in a wide number of ways not just only the more intuitive lifting and moving around. Nevertheless, psychokinesis is very rarely utilized to its full potential. There are multiple levels that celestial star seeds can progress through in order to attain mastery, becoming adept in the usages of our divine gifts. At the minimal level, Source players will only feel telekinetically sensitive enough to manipulate objects as if the objects were being touched with oven mitts on our hands and can only move mass equal to what one could physically carry. At the basic level, source players can now manipulate objects as if the objects were being touched with our bare hands and will only be able to levitate ourselves and a very limited amount of mass equal to what ones are carrying or wearing several inches from the ground, as well as being able to keep objects and other beings bound from moving and keeping them grasped firmly in place. Also at the basic level, celestial star seeds can make energy orbit around ourselves, choke or strangle others without physical contact, alter an object's directional course, push objects and others away from ourselves, and pull objects towards us such as calling weapons into our hands. Advanced level star seeds can manipulate objects as one would with pincers or with precision tools. At this advanced level, RH negatives can now move mass equal to several people and other heavy items such as household appliances. Advanced level source players can alternate the natural elements of existence at a sub-molecular level, cause any object to automatically follow, home in, and lock onto its target or targets until it hits them. Advanced level celestial star seeds are able to manipulate and accelerate matter and energy at a molecular level, guide or shift directional vectors through direct molecular motion manipulation, change the physical and chemical compounds of properties, as well as the ability of transmutation to change the molecules of one thing into anything else. Source players that reach the advanced level can manipulate the very movements of others, alter an object's inner workings, animate motionless items by focusing mind power through it, utilize intuitive aptitude to learn how an object works by telekinetically taking it apart and placing it back together, psionically heal ourselves and others, which includes conducting complex surgery through telekinetic means, and emit powerful vibrations strong enough to make objects shatter, explode, and that can cause significant damage to a surrounding area. Advanced level RH negatives are telekinetically gifted beings that can enhance our physical conditions by augmenting our agility so that we can dodge high-speed projectiles, increase our durability and endurance, suppress physical pain, enhance our reflexes, augment our five senses for greater awareness, increase our speed in order to outrun even moving vehicles, augment our strength granting us the ability to punch through steel walls, and expand our stamina so that we can remain active for extended periods of time. At the expert level, RH negative celestial star seeds can manipulate objects as long as we can see and perceive them, and can move mass that is equal to a city bus 
or an industrial sized machine. Master level source players can manipulate objects at microscopic scale and can move mass that is equal to buildings. At the master level, star seeds can control matter and energy at the atomic scale, directly applying change to the submolecular bonds, bend the very energies of the universe just by thought alone, absorb and convert energy, and change the very physical nature of any substance. Master level light warriors can bend the very fabric of dimensional barriers, allowing us to travel through wormholes, teleportation to psionically transport ourselves and additional mass from one location to another, the ability to redirect the electrical signals between the brain and nerves, achieving control over another being's thoughts, feelings, and movement of their body. Master level celestial star seeds can induce biological manipulation, regenerating the cells to achieve immortality, create and discharge destructive psychic energy across a wide range, manipulate matter that is thousands of miles away from our location, as well as manipulate the functions and properties of technology and all forms of advanced high tech machinery. At the ultimate level, RH negatives can operate at the atomic scale, and we can move mass that is equal to the size of other worlds. Celestial star seeds that reach the ultimate level manipulate anything and everything, including the fundamental forces of the universe, particle energy, warping this current context of existence by bending quantum strings of any localized area, distort the space-time continuum, and manipulate the fabric of the Omniverse. Finally, at the absolute level, source players can operate even below the size of subatomic particles, effectively moving an infinite amount of mass. Utilizing atmospheric manipulation, star seeds are capable of manipulating and creating cosmic weather, cosmic storms, solar flares, geomagnetic storms, cosmic rays, and black holes. While empowered at the absolute level, celestial star seeds have total psychokinetic control on an omniversal scale. We can generate any form of energy in seemingly unlimited amounts, as well as absorb energy from sources as great as a supernova or even convert our physical forms to pure energy and back again. We can also exist in virtually any environment without harm and create space-time warps to travel through hyperspace or traverse the time stream, and our telepathic abilities are also vastly enhanced. When using telekinesis at the absolute level, our active force will manifest itself around us in the form of the violet flame. The size of this inferno varies with the amount of energy that we are using. The violet flame can even manifest in seemingly impossible situations, such as the plasma of space, or even underwater. The celestial fire does not require oxygen to burn, and it burns so intensely that matter is consumed without byproducts such as ash. The violet flame is a literal punctuation to our divine purpose to burn away all that does not work, as well as burning through all of the lies and all of the deception. Although psychic abilities are in actuality cosmic magic, they can also exist alongside other types of magic with some sort of division between the types of traditional functional magic that may be studied by practitioners. Some magicians, summoners, and sorcerers with psychic abilities are prejudiced against each other based on their training philosophy, which superpower special abilities that they have access to, and or how their specific powers were gained. Psychic abilities can be generalized into two categories, 
receptive, and projective. The parapsychological association divides them into Psi Gamma and Psi Kappa. Receptive abilities are purely internal, displaying no external evidence that they are being used apart from the occasional psychic nosebleed that some may experience. The precognitive ability to see the future is receptive as the celestial star seed is able to gain future intelligence with no external mechanic. Projective abilities affect the external world, manipulating the laws of physics within this context of existence. The ability to move physical objects is projective as the celestial star seed affects an external object with no tangible connection between them. Sometimes there is overlap with the two categories. For example, telepathy is receptive in, the, in that the RH negative gains knowledge from reading another being's mind, and telepathy is also projective by allowing the star seed to implant thoughts and ideas into the other being's mind as well. Telepathic tracking allows RH negative celestial star seeds to be able to detect and track other sentient beings by their unique psionic emanations, which are the very thought patterns contained in the psionic portion of the spectrum. Our enhanced intuition and heightened awareness grants us the ability to detect a threat to our well-being within our immediate vicinity before our would-be attacker committed the action against us. RH-negative celestial star seeds can mask our presence from being detected by others using telepathic cloaking. We can even choose to extend these defenses to others around us as well. Celestial star seeds are capable of controlling the minds of others, even if the target is not always in our physical presence. We have the ability to create telepathic illusions to make ourselves seem to be invisible to take on the appearance of someone else, or make others experience events that are not even truly happening. RH negatives have the ability to possess the mind of another person and use that being's body as if it were our own, alter the minds of others by force of will, changing their personality partially or entirely. Source players are able to erect psychic shields for protection of ours and of others' minds, induce temporary mental or physical paralysis, erase any awareness of particular memories or cause total amnesia, and we can project psionic force bolts which have no physical effects but which can affect a victim's mind so as to cause the victim pain or unconsciousness and or render someone completely brain dead. RH negative celestial star seeds are capable of amplifying and empowering one another through energetic connectivity when we have total reliance upon spiritual truth and exhibit confidence in the divine gifts and superpowered special abilities of our sisters and brothers of our star tribe. Light warriors can also feed upon the psionic energies of others around us, absorbing the life force from other sentient beings to bolster our own and use it to our own advantage. As the dormant strands of our DNA becomes more activated, our skin, bone, and muscle tissues will be augmented to levels that are considerably stronger and harder than humans, and we will become impervious to injury to an extraordinary extent, able to withstand extreme temperatures and pressures, as well as capable to withstand virtually all toxins, corrosives, punctures, and concussions without sustaining injury. X-gene possession inherently seeks the quincunx alignment for higher power formation. This is the true purpose of celestial star seeds. Superpower special abilities are purely phenotypical expressions that allow for higher survival capability and an increased ability to exist as a communal organism with shared interests. Many higher beings, angelic guides, and Ascendant Masters are actively involved with us at this time. They are assisting each of us in this DNA activation process to remain patient and not attempt to rush ahead. 
The activation procedure cannot be hurried nor expedited by anything that we can read in a book or that we can purchase in a bottle. Our DNA activation is occurring in exactly the right time frame regardless of how we may try to interfere. This scenario is immense and it is happening in response to the divine plan of our universe initiated by the Most High and the ones above all. The best advice is for all of us to relax and to go with the flow, allowing everything to manifest in its own due time. The final results will be absolutely amazing and will usher all of us into a hyperdimensional experience of living with love and oneness on New Atlantis and New Lemuria.